I'm going to show you how to check internet connection in C Sharp. So we are going to be checking if our um, if there is internet connection in our PC using C Sharp. So let me show you how this works. Then I'm going to show you how to um, do the coding to check if there's internet connection in your um, project. So I'm, I'm going to click on check internet connection button. All right, so I have a message dialog box here. Internet connection is available. So I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to, you know, um, click on my uh, on my system connection. I'm going to click on this Wi-Fi um, icon, and then I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi. Okay, so my Wi-Fi has been turned off and then now let's check again. So now I'm going to click on check internet connection. Yes, so I have here no internet connection. So I'm going to click on OK and then I'm going to go back there again. I'm going to click on the Wi-Fi icon. I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi. Then I'm going to you know allow it to connect now before it connects let's start designing our form so what i'm going to do right now is that uh, i'm going to close this guy i'm going to close this guy right here i'm going to um stop the project from running all right so quickly let's design our form so we are going to add a new form i'm going to right click on my project name i'm going to right click on it then i'm going to go to add and then Windows Form. Button. So that i'm going to get the button click event all right so i'm going to double click on it all right so i'm just going to leave it like that for now i'm going to click somewhere here i'm going to press enter here i'm going to create a function now that function once we create and uh finish with it then we are going to call the function inside the button click event all right so yeah i'm going to say public public void check internet connection or connects okay check internet connection yeah i'm going to press enter then i'm going to open the open and, co and close um coily braces so inside this function before we code it i'm going to screw up we are going to um uh we are going to add some libraries so i'm going to say using system dot nets dot network information okay so the next is using static system dot net dot web requests uh we're going to use web request methods at this instance okay so now let's go back to our function now inside this function we are going to say if then i'm going to open a, um, a bracket then i'm going to say network interface Okay, I'm going to say network interface. You need to put that in capital letter. All right, let's look for it. Network interface dot. Then we're going to use this method to determine if internet connection is uh, available or not. So we are going to say um, dot get network available. All right dot get is network available so we're going to use that and then i'm going to press enter and inside the 
um, open and close query braces, then I'm going to now, you know, notify the user that, hey, um, network um, connection is available or internet connection is available. So what we are trying to do here is to use conditional statement to, you know, check if we have internet connection then if we don't have internet connection, then we are going to prompt the user using a message box. If it doesn't exist, that's else at, the, at this instance, we are going to say um, display no internet connection. So inside the if curly braces, I'm going to say message box, message box dot show. Then we are going to open, uh, open and close uh, bracket then open this uh, quotations then i'm going to say um, i'm going to say internet connection is available all right so i'm going to put a header like a title on the message box don't worry i'm going to show you um when i run the program and here I'm going to say uh, the title of the dialog box is going to say check internet connection. Okay. And then we now we are going to determine the message box. That's what we're going to have right after. So is it going to be, um, okay, let's see where is the message box. Message okay let's use message box dot okay all right and then yeah we're going to say message box icon dot information okay now we're going to click somewhere here then else so what we are trying to do is that if internet connection is available it should display this message else else means so if there's no internet connection and then it should display this message all right that's if else statement um there are conditional statements okay so we are going to copy this instead of wasting your time typing that all over so yeah we are going to say no internet connection okay so we are going to delete this so if there's internet connection it should display this okay then if there is no internet connection it should display this so we are going to change this to message boss icon dot warning let's use that warning sign okay all right so now let's go to solution explorer on this on the solution explorer we are going to click on program dot c -sharp. And then here we are going to change this. So our startup form is what we want to change. We're going to change that to the current form that we just finished with. Okay, which is this one. This is what we're going to display to check what we have done. All right, so before we forget, we have not called the function. Okay, so we're going to call it on the button click event to trigger that action. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, check internet. Let's look for it. Okay, check internet connection. Then we are going to call that function in the put and click events, which we have done. All right, so we have saved our work. Now let's go and try it out. I'm going to click on start to build the project. All right, so this is a form that we just finished coding. Um, as you can see, I have um, on my PC there's internet connection, so I'm going to click on the on this button to check. Yes, so we have internet connection is available. I'm going to click on OK. All right, so let's turn off the Wi-Fi, the connection. Let's turn on. Let's turn off the connection. I'm going to click on disable Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi the connection has been disabled. So as you can see here, no internet connection available. So let's check it out again. I'm going to click on check 
internet connection yes we have no internet connection okay so let's try it one more time i'm going to go back i'm going to turn on that wi-fi okay so we're going to wait, wait a little bit guys why am i waiting if you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button then if you like the video click on the like button please also share the video and comment below thank you so much so now we are going to click on we have turned on the wi-fi once again so we are going to try it again i'm going to click on this check internet connection yeah we have internet connection is available so guys this is how to check for internet connection in c sharp